25th, 1954, an important year in the automotive industry. Chrysler Corporation announced the development and successful road testing of the first American-built gas turbine engine in a production line automobile. This engine was a milestone in automotive power engineering. The key was the development of a rotary heat exchanger, which converted exhaust heat into a strong power boost with fuel economy. These tests were run in a 1954 production model Plymouth. They were the beginning of thousands of miles of road testing and resulted in a major breakthrough in turbine power. In 1955, the same basic engine was traffic tested on the streets of Detroit. By 1956, Engineers had set the stage for a major test, the first turbine-powered transcontinental run from New York to Los Angeles. A turbine-powered sedan made the historic 3,020-mile trip subject to constant evaluation of the engine's durability, acceleration, economy, endurance, and operation under various climatic conditions. The engine performed beautifully, and four days later, the test car rolled into Los Angeles. Guided by the performance data and experience obtained on the coast-to-coast -coast run, Chrysler Engineering spent the following two years designing and developing a new, more advanced turbine engine. In December 1958, after thorough laboratory testing, this second-generation turbine engine made a 576-mile run from Detroit to New York in a test to verify the effects of the newly developed variable nozzle principle on economy and control. On this trip, the 1958 version showed that burner efficiency was improved almost to the point of ideal combustion removing one of the most formidable remaining hurdles to successful automotive application. In the following months, another obstacle was eliminated when, through Chrysler metallurgical research, new materials were developed which contained plentiful and relatively inexpensive elements that could be made by conventional methods and still have excellent resistance to heat and oxidation, even at extreme temperatures. By December 1961, after more months of patient development, an improved third-generation turbine power plant, the CR2A, was installed in a 1962 production line model, which made another four-day cross-country trip. It encountered sub-zero weather with snowstorms and freezing rain, as well as scorching heat, at times bucking up to 40-mile-an-hour headwinds. The turbine lived up to and exceeded all expectations. Its fuel economy was consistently comparable with that of piston cars, which made the same trip. The culmination of this sustained and dedicated effort was Chrysler Corporation's announcement in 1962 that the company planned to build 50 turbine-powered passenger cars for release to selected users. This was to be done to obtain concrete evidence concerning public acceptance of this revolutionary type of automotive power plant. Over a decade of research and testing had evolved the most advanced, most practical gas turbine engine ever specifically designed for automobiles.